many business leaders try their best to actually deploy resources in their business as productively as that can. Which means that they're trying to give every business just about as much as they can to help all the BUs in their portfolio succeed. The reality is this doesn't work. The reality is that empirically, when a company moves on the power curve, it's mostly because one and exactly one of their businesses moves. In rare cases, it's two. So strategy is actually not about peanut buttering resources across all the businesses you have. It is about picking the one or two businesses that are most likely to succeed and putting all your effort and all your resources, or at least all the resources they need behind them. A second big insight was that come September, October, and it's budgeting time for next year, one of the big levers for driving up the odds of moving on the power curve, meaning reallocating resources, is already out of time. Because you can't possibly tell one of your BU heads that next year his budget is going to be 15% less two months before the year starts. So second big realization was freeing up resources needs to actually start much earlier. It needs to start the year before. And then it's about driving productivity programs or similar hard enough to actually free up the resources and also for corporate to keep them so they don't dissipate, which is, seems to be another law of nature in businesses.